Hey, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys how to make a quick, simple, easy, and healthy Berber, or Amazigh as they prefer to be called, tagine in your own home. Now, I don't have a tagine, and you probably don't either, so I'm gonna be doing this in a Dutch oven. You could use any pot that you want, as long as it's large enough, and it should work out pretty well. So into the bottom of my Dutch oven, over medium heat, I'm gonna throw a couple tablespoons of olive oil, just to get things going. Once it's shimmering, I'm gonna add half of a diced up onion, a few cloves of minced garlic, and a small diced tomato. Let's go ahead and saute those for a few minutes until the onion starts to soften a little bit and the juices start coming out of the tomato. Now we're gonna make a seasoning blend out of equal parts of turmeric, cayenne for a little heat, paprika, cumin, and a little bit of ginger. I didn't have any dried ginger on hand, so I'm using fresh, but feel free to use dried if you got it. Now you could add these in dry, but we're gonna need a little bit of extra oil in the pot anyway, so I'm mixing them in with a few tablespoons of olive oil. A little salt, a little pepper. Mix those in thoroughly. And let's add half of that to our pot. Mix those in well so the onions and tomatoes are coated. Then I'm gonna add in my chicken. I'm using boneless chicken thighs. You could use bone in, you could use chicken breast, you could use any other type of meat, or you could leave the meat out entirely. It's really up to you what you want in your tagine. Now we're gonna start layering the rest of our ingredients, starting with the densest ones that'll take the longest to cook. So I've got a carrot that I've cut into spears, and we wanna layer these in sort of a teepee tent shape, so as the moisture evaporates and starts to drip back down, it seasons everything from the top down. I did an online delivery order for groceries and it was unclear from the website what size potatoes I was getting. Uh, apparently I was getting little tiny mini potatoes. That's fine, just a little bit more work to slice up. Let's layer those as decoratively as possible. We want this to look nice in the thumbnail after all. Next I've got a zucchini that I'll cut into spears just like the carrot. Go ahead and slice a red bell pepper into rings and layer those in. And the other half of that onion. It's probably better if you use another onion and cut rings out of it, but this will work just fine. As well as another tomato. Next up, let's sprinkle some chopped parsley on top. Now let's pour the other half of our seasoning blend over the top. That way as it's cooking, it can season from the top down. And finally, let's add some olives on top. You can leave these out if you don't like olives, but it'll add a really nice briny acidity to this. So I'm going for it. Scatter those around as evenly as possible. Then we can go ahead and cover this up, reduce the heat to low, and let that go for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour until your meat is fully cooked. Wow, that is so flavorful. It's earthy and spicy from the spice blend. It's fresh and bright from all those fresh vegetables and especially the acidity from the olives. This is such a good, simple, hearty meal that could easily be a weeknight meal. Such simple preparation, so easy to put together in a snap, you know? Use whatever vegetables or ingredients you have and make it your own. So I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know in the comments how it turned out and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.